we just like to network with, you know, like-minded individuals where we can just provide an environment for us to work and learn and just add value to each other. Um, Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's pretty much what it is. Um, And then like, that's what it is as, as a whole, like as the team, but I naturally um, was, was meeting up with people like at Southfield library or coffee shops, like over these years and just, Mm -hmm. you know, meeting up and and making phone calls and and just pouring into people what I know from my experience. So I was always doing that. Um, But now that I'm on a team and we have an an, an office or an environment, you know, anyone is welcome to come um, on the weekend if they want to learn about this business or if they want to learn how to um, talk to sellers or if you have deals that you want to sell. So to do better in their business but i also have to i don't know how to do it Hey everyone out there in YouTube land and Facebook group. How are you all doing today? I hope everyone's doing great. I I can't wait to have this next guest on with us today. His name is Kevin Brooks. Not only is he another wholesaler, he's an investor in the Metro Detroit area. Um, he's also a good good friend of mine. I always meet him at these meetups that we're at. Uh, sorry for the setup today. I have my headset on. I know I usually don't have that, but I am traveling for my day job. Yes, I still have a day job. Uh, and uh, so I'm in a hotel right now. But uh, with that being said, like th- this gentleman, Kevin, is an awesome guy. He's helping as many people out there. I see him all the time in these groups. And, you know, I wanted to bring him on here because he's such a busy guy. I want to know exactly why he's doing everything he's doing. And you know what? I also want to know, bring introduce everyone here to him so that if he needs anything, he can come to y'all. If I, you know, you guys need anything, you can come to him as well. So without further ado, let me bring on Kevin. Kevin, how you doing today? Good evening, Randy. I'm excellent. Thank you for having me, man. I want to give you a big shout out um, just for having me on the show and just being just an exceptional guy that you are, brother, and just for allowing me to share my journey on your platform, bro. I really appreciate you and all of the the wisdom and knowledge that you give here on Real Estate Talk um, with, you know, the speakers that you have, just bringing that knowledge to the marketplace is just awesome and is just truly inspiring, bro. So thank you. Awesome. I really do appreciate that. So I, you know, I, I, I admire you because I see you posting all the time about your meetups and you, you wanting to help as many people as you can. You go live sometimes about, you know, on on these calls and, and things like that. So I really admire that. Um, I wish I could do more of that to be honest, but you know, as you can see, I got a day job and I'm busy as hell. So, (laughs) (laughs) for sure, brother. So, um, thank you. You know, so you're out here helping as many people out and helping everyone out. And so, one thing I want to ask you, and I, I don't think I really ever got to ask you this, is, you know, what's your background and how did you get started in real estate? Because uh, you know, I know I always say this, but I know you didn't just pop out your mom's room, womb and say, I'm doing real estate. <laughs> no, bro. I had, that's a really good question, man. I had no idea that I would be doing real estate. Um, right. and real so quick, look, real look, quick, sorry to interrupt you. I look at your camera when you're talking over there. Oh look. man. So I got like three screens. Gotcha. Yep. The camera is looking at me on one. But yep. I, <laughs> I have you on this one, so that's is, okay. Look at the camera. Oh, we, we we're you. good with that. You, you don't need to look at this ugly mug. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, bro. For sure, for sure. Awesome. Okay. What was the question again? I'm sorry about that. So how did how did you get started in real estate, and how did you get? Um, because I know you didn't come out of the womb just knowing about real estate. So what what's your backstory? 
you know, how did, how did you get to where you're at? And then who, you know, it, we'll, we'll just start off with that. We, we, we'll kind of build on that. All right. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I discovered um, real estate investing or wholesaling um, back in 2018, actually, 2018. I was um, living in Houston, Texas. Okay. And um, I was dating um, this young lady and <laughs> her cousin was actually a wholesaler and she told me about it and I just um, did a little bit of research and long story short, ended up meeting him. He gave me some advice on some YouTube videos to check out. Okay. So I did and it was just up from there. So. Oh, um, that's awesome. So, so with that being said, how, how did you, so you, you follow some YouTube videos uh, on you because your, your girlfriend's cousin, you said. Yeah. Um, at the time. So um, at the time, yeah, it was her cousin. It was actually Zeke. I don't know if you know Zeke, but he, okay. I, think he, I think he goes by Detroit real estate, man. Oh yeah. 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 I know him. Yeah. So I met him for the first time back in 2018. Um, I didn't, I had no idea what wholesaling was. I knew nothing about real estate at all. Um, mm -hmm. at, honestly, at the time, I just knew that I was tired of working my job and I wanted to make more money. So that's really, um, what introduced me into it. Okay. Um, so yeah. yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Just like we all do. We always, we all want to make more money no matter what. Right. So, sure. um, you know, I'm always here trying to figure out what's the, what's everyone's why, you know? So, you know, it always starts off with money, you know? So <laughs> right. <laughs> everyone's why is always money. I need more money, 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 money. But eventually you get that and then you try to figure out what are the true reasons why. So after you figured out, you know, the money portion, did you figure So what is your true why? Man, that's a good point that you bring up, bro. And it and it does work exactly like that. At first, it's money, and you really don't know, and then you just discover it. Um, so for me, um, I'll go back a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, so I learned about wholesaling in 2018, and it was a really crucial point in my life. Um, prior to moving to Houston, I moved to Houston in 2015. Okay. And I went out there for like more opportunity, like a lot of it wasn't a lot of jobs that were like, you know, paying, you know, um, how, how do you say like the cost of living yep. was, was more than, you know, what I was making. So I was just right. looking for uh, more opportunity out in Houston. And um, then I, I found a good job, but it was just working me like to death. Like I was literally mm -hmm. working like 80 hours a week. But um, anyway, so I stumbled on, on wholesaling. Um, took me a year to get my first deal. And by the way, when I when I got it, when I learned about it in 2018, I didn't really get started to 2020. It was okay. just information, you know, um, analysis, paralysis or whatever you call yep. it. Um, but to answer your question, my why, like since I've been doing it for a few years now and mm -hmm. I'm starting to like post more of what I'm actually doing, um, a lot of people are getting inspired by it. And I'm noticing like my audience is really like younger, like young adults, mm -hmm. you know, and it just feels good um, to be able to, you know, pour into them. So that's, that's really my why, especially people that come from like, um, you know, adversity and like yep. just a rough background in general, like when they come and they want to learn about this and they get into it and they see like, Oh my God, like, you know, it's a lot of personal development that comes with it. And yep. that's what really helped me. Because I, when I was struggling in the beginning, um, it was really hard for me because I'm a slow learner. Um, back in school, I barely paid attention um, to, you know, education. I was just out here doing what the environment around me was doing. Mm -hmm. um, had a lot of bad influences. So for me to learn about wholesaling and real estate and to be on this personal development journey, that is really my why because I, I enjoy the personal development aspect of it. Yeah. And of course, the real estate and the money is sexy to everybody. So it attracts like that younger crowd, especially when they see me doing it, you know, because mm -hmm. a lot of people know what I what I come from. So if they if they see that change, they like, wow, Kevin is doing this. You know, it inspires them to do it, too. So 
when they actually come and, and participate and learn, that is my why. So now I can use like what we're doing opposed to, you know, things that people shouldn't be doing. So it right. keeps them out the streets and it just shows them like, man, I can make legit money and have a legit business versus, you know, risking my life and my time and freedom just for money. So that's Most, that's what my why is. That's and it. that that is a very humble why. And I, I got to say that it's awesome that you're doing that, because the thing is, is that I, uh, you know, people. They want to see people like themselves doing well. If they say, he's just like me, he did it, I can do it. Exactly. Whether it be somebody who looks like them, somebody who acts like them, somebody uh, who used to be in their situation is now not in their situation, whatever the case may be. Okay. So I I always say, no matter what, like I in, I get inspired by you know, by helping other people. Now I, for me, I have the same why you do, you know, uh, I want to teach people. I want to help people as many people, as many as I can. Sometimes I want to do that. It, it detriment, like I put too much effort into that and I'm like, Oh yeah, I got my business. I got to run over here <laughs> and it takes sure. away from that. For sure. So, <laughs> so it's like, okay, I got to put this off to the side. I got to start I, I got to start making money, <laughs> you know, hundred percent, bro. <laughs> you know, so with all that, you know, it, it's, it, it does put something on here, by the way, if, if you do have any questions, do ask them in the chat. I see some questions in there and, it, you know, as we get going, I'm going to put them on the screen and, and we're going to put, put them on here. So, um, you know, kind of, kind of, uh, Jay actually asked one thing that I, I kind of wanted to say is, I, you know, how many deals have you done so far? Oh, that's a great question, Jay. So I did about 50 deals um, and counting at like the end of last year or like, okay, you know, it was like fall of last year. And then after that, I stopped counting. So <laughs> I really don't know. Okay. Somewhere between 50 and 100. But that's they're, been they're... over like four years, though you know okay that's awesome yeah i'm in my fourth year i started january of 2021 so i haven't done full fourth year but i'm in my fourth year right now and i stopped counting after 35 deals so you know <laughs> awesome bro yeah I, um, you know. I actually closed my first deal um august 2020 Right. That was my very first deal. And I did four deals that year. So between August and December of 2020, I did four deals. So. Okay. So he also has another question and then we'll kind of get further over. Can you tell us how you level with a delusional seller? I'm I'm assuming you many deal with a, a delusional seller. So, um, you know, can you, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. Um, so my personality, if you know me, like I'm very um, bold and I like I really like to give advice as well. So okay. um, I look at myself as more of a consultant when I'm talking to sellers like that's my attitude. So I just keep it real with them. I just tell them the truth about everything. I let them yep. you know they give me their motivation and things like that. So I try to focus on that and try to really um see if what i have to offer is really solving that yeah but if if they're just if you if when you say delusional if you mean like they're just stuck on a price or something that's not realistic you know i just give them all their options i just you know i, I get really creative too i know creative finance so mm -hmm. i just give them a lot of options and if none of them work you know we can just agree to disagree and yeah i just put them on a follow-up get to the next seller most definitely. And I always tell people we're deal finders, not deal creators. Okay. 100%. You know, I'm not here to convince somebody to sell me their house. Absolutely I'm here, not. I'm here to present them with the options. And because a seller doesn't always know what their options are. They don't know what creative financing is. They don't know what all of this is. So 
it's our job to let them know. And sometimes their best option is with a realtor. And you know what, by me being honest, even though I'm not a realtor, you know what, I got, I got some friends who are, I'll, I'll send, I'll send some trusted realtors your way, you know, and go from there. So 100%. Great question. Um, yeah. So kind of get back to this. Uh, so kind of tell me a little bit about what you're doing now. Um, and you know, what, what are you, uh, putting together now, because I see every other week you're putting together some, uh, some really like talented people you're getting together and you're actually helping people on the phones. So, yes. I uh, tell me, tell me a little bit about that and how you, how you started that. Yeah. So that's a great question. I appreciate it. Um, you know, we just, so I'm, I'm on a team. I joined the team. Uh, name of the team is Q estate. And we are primarily, we built a big marketing engine. It's, it's like a wholesale, um, business, but mm -hmm. like the engine is, but the goal is to buy as many deals as we can. So we are actively looking to buy um, more deals and we just like to network with, you know, like minded individuals where we can just provide an environment for us to work and learn and just add value to each other. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's pretty much what it is. Um, okay. And then like that's what it is as as a whole, like as the team. But I naturally um, was was meeting up with people like at Southfield Library or coffee shops like over these years and just, mm -hmm. you know, meeting up and, and making phone calls and, and just pouring into people what I know from my experience. So I was always doing that. Um, but now that I'm on a team and we have an, an, an office or an environment, you know, anyone is welcome to come um, on the weekend if they want to learn about this business or if they want to learn how to um, talk to sellers or if you have deals that you want to sell. So most definitely. <clears throat> yeah, that that's the good thing is, is uh, you know, I uh, I had a going through this when I first got got started. There was a, a a good mentor of mine actually that you probably know him, Todd Chun, um, oh, yeah. and he started he did this. Uh, it's called a boiler room, and essentially it's the same thing that you're doing, you know, and. It really helped because when I was on the phone, like I was just doing my follow ups when I was over there and I would go through there. And then if I had any issues or or couldn't figure out anything like he was there or somebody else would be there, like it was a bunch of other wholesalers and, you know, other people that were like minded that, you know what? Hey, if I wanted to JV, I just give him a call. Like, hey, can you come over here or Hey, here's this guy's number. Can you give him a call real quick and, and and help me close this deal? And you know, we'll JV on it real quick and and, and kind of go from there. So, um, does it, is that kind of what you're doing? Yeah, um, that's great you bring that up. Uh, shout out to Todd. Uh, he helped me out in the beginning of my journey um, a yeah. lot, like tremendously. And I actually met you initially at his boiler room for the first time <laughs> in person. We met there in White Lake. That's yeah. the first day I, that we met, actually. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, it's that's exactly what we're doing because that's what he was doing. He was teaching me everything. Yep. He was there. It's always good to have like you know somebody who you look as an, a professional, someone with a lot of experience and been in a lot of different you know various situations. So yeah. that is good. That is exactly what we're doing. And mm -hmm. I am I am focused on uh, really just reaching out to people who. Cause like I mentioned, like mm -hmm. I don't, I have no idea how I came up across real estate. Actually, I do. I know it was God. So you know, I just want you know the God and me to just come out and just you know just invite people to come come join with, come hang with us. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to be intimidated because it's a yeah. lot to learn here, and it's really really simple. And yeah. you can find your your passion and your gifts through the same thing. So that's mm -hmm. exactly exactly right lem said todd is a great guy i 100 percent agree with that lem so 100 sure. so um you know and and i'm glad that you're doing that i'm glad that you said that because it's i uh, you know we're out here one thing that i've realized is that the people who are 
backstabbing and will put will go out there and they will they're not willing to help anybody else out they're not willing to work together not willing to do anything they don't last long in this industry they That's really don't right and you know what you can go out there and do all of that but you're not going to you're not going to make friends you're not gonna, the reason why I've lasted as long as I have and I'm assuming you last as long as you have is by relying on these people by Todd and other people that have been in this industry that are willing to help each other out you know um not willing to backstab anybody somebody brings me a deal whether they got on our contract or not I'm not going to go around them and get it under contract or anything like that you know or if I do get it under contract, no matter what, they're going to be part of the deal. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's a that's a good point you bring up, man. Because um, going back to Todd, like Todd came when I didn't close a deal. Mm -hmm. This man, he was speaking at a um, an event in Southfield with it was Eric Friday was a um, panelist, and it was also uh, Jeff. I cannot remember home. You know Jeff Home. Yeah, I think that's his name. They were speaking and I just I went to Todd after the meetup. I mean, after they were speaking and I told him, like, bro, I got a deal and I don't know what to do with it, man. This man came to my house and sat on my couch and I felt like <laughs> I felt like a celebrity was at my house. You right. Know what I'm saying? right. <laughs> he came to my house and was like working through the deal with me, man. And then I just I did like 15 JVs with Todd after that, like in a row, like not even caring, like. Let's split the money. I trusted him a hundred percent to do to deliver. You know, I you know. So that's a good point. It's good to have people like that that won't go behind your back and that can just hold your hand. And yep. that is a good. That is the reason why you last. Besides the fact that you don't give up, because the difference between me and the people who didn't last, like I just didn't give up. Right. You know exactly. So. You gotta go. You gotta they're doing this business is relentless and you got to keep going no matter what no matter how many no's you get you got to keep going okay um you know it's it, it's crazy and uh there's a lot of there's a lot of interesting things and there's a lot of things you're going to learn something new from every single deal okay i still to this day will call up Todd and be like, hey, have you ever had this issue? <laughs> you know, and ask for advice or do whatever. Or somebody else was, has an issue and uh, like, for instance, he's the freaking king at stopping foreclosures, you know? So if one, if I ever get a seller that I need a foreclosure stop, guess who I'm calling? I'm calling Todd and he's going to be working the deal with me, you 100%. know? So... It's it's all about who you know, what's going on, you know. So by all means, um, you know what they say is that your your network is your net worth. Hundred percent. And another way to say that is um, collaboration over uh, competition. One hundred percent. I one hundred percent agree with that. So. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view